My horse is called Cabral, uh, his stable name is JP. He's 11 years old this time and he's a Polish warm blood. I've had him for around two and a half years now and I bought him from Christian Landhol, who's now bought back into him, which is really great. Um, he's quite sensitive, which works really well for me because um, he's very naturally forward thinking, which is perfect because I don't have the use of my legs. So, um, so you know, he's very reactive. Um, he's got a lot of trust in me, which is really great. Um, and he's a really super horse to ride. I'm really lucky to have him. Because I don't have the use of my legs, I have to train all of my horses off to the use of my voice. So when I say trot, they have to trot. So when I first buy a horse, I have my trainer ride them first. So she uses the natural, normal aids and then uses my aids as well. So they get used to both. And then hopefully when I get on, they're a bit more used to the use of the voice. Um, my mum also lunges them and I sit on the side and use my voice so my mum doesn't have to use hers. And then they get used to me. Um, lots of work in and around the stables, just grooming so they get used to me saying things like back, um, which they then pick up on when I'm on them. I won two golds last year at the Europeans, which was the most incredible experience. And to be standing on the podium with a gold medal around my neck, you know, the thing that I've been dreaming for for 11 years, with the national anthem playing and the flag up, and it was just a dream come true. So with the Paralympics being in London and kind of it being my first Paralympic Games and all of my friends and family, and it's not just your friends and family that are supporting you because it's in London, you've got the whole country behind you, which is just going to be incredible. I think Greenwich is just going to be really exciting um, as a place for the Paralympics. I was really fortunate to have done the test event last year and it was just such an amazing atmosphere and to have the backdrop, you know, uh, with the Queen's House and the London Eye and everything, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, so it's going to be very, very exciting.